Coming to the new horizons of life, Neuralink is a developing brain-computer neural interfaces. Uh, how can human beings interact with machine, Elon? Sure. Um, so, <clears throat> I mean, the, the full story of Neuralink is quite complicated. Um, the overarching goal of Neuralink is to mitigate um, the uh, AI control risk, so that uh, as AI gets smarter and smarter, um, we are we need to do something about to to enhance the bandwidth between ourselves and um, machine extension of ourselves. Like we are already a cyborg to some degree, um, in that uh, our phones and our laptops and our, our computer applications are an extension of ourselves. But the the bandwidth to the computers, especially to the phone, is very slow. Um, where we essentially are outputting with just with thumbs, two slow moving thumbs. This is a very low bandwidth situation. So I think um, from an existential threat standpoint, Neuralink is aimed at um, improving uh, human machine symbiosis um, with the idea of um, ensuring that humanity uh, can uh, have a good co good coexistence with artificial intelligence. Um, now, in the short term, uh, over the next several years, uh, Neuralink will attempt to solve a number of uh, brain injuries and, and brain diseases. Uh, so our first application, for example, is to enable uh, someone who is uh, a quadriplegic or tetraplegic to be able to control their computer or their phone just by thinking. Um, and we've already demonstrated this actually with a monkey that can play video games and use a mouse cursor and click on things on a computer. Um, and so we're very confident this will work. And hopefully we'll have our first uh, human trials uh, in the next uh, six months or so.